When you have a rental property and you find a tenant, it's always good to know and understand your rights as a landlord. Tenants have a legal obligation to pay rent and to continue to pay rent until the end of the tenancy period. Residential rent is usually payable at least one week in advance, while commercial rent is usually payable one month in advance. There are limits on how much rent in advance that you can demand. For rent payable weekly, you can only ask for two weeks rent in advance. For rent payable more than weekly, you can't demand any more than one month's rent in advance. The person receiving the rent will probably be your property manager. They must issue a receipt for the rent collected. This is often done electronically with the tenants making an electronic transfer into a nominated bank account and a receipt emailed out to them. When the term of the lease is fixed, residential rents can't be increased during that fixed term unless the lease has a clause which relates to rent increases. Laws in some states require as much as 90 days notice for a rent increase and this notice must be given in writing. Rent increases usually can't be imposed until six months after a residency starts. Once rent has been increased, it can't be increased again for another six months and 60 days notice of rent increases must be provided to the tenant in writing. A commercial lease will generally have written into it a clause which states that rent will increase each year, most commonly in line with the consumer price index. Where a tenant is in arrears with rent, you or your property manager must contact him or her to see if an arrangement can be reached to rectify the situation. If this isn't possible, then you may give the tenant notice to vacate the premises. It's illegal for a landlord to change the locks or otherwise lock out a tenant or try to physically evict the tenant. It's important to note that while we do hear reports of landlords unable to evict tenants who refuse to pay rent, thankfully these cases are rare and shouldn't become one of your reasons not to invest in property. When you rent out a property, your tenant can't just walk out in the middle of a lease. However, if you both agree, then a lease can be broken early. If a tenant does walk out and stop payments, some states have an arrangement where you can apply to be compensated by the tenant as a result of this breach of lease for any money lost, such as lost rent, advertising costs for a new tenant and any re-letting fee. Where completing a tenancy arrangement may cause hardship for the tenant, some state tenancy authorities may allow the tenant to break a lease. Every state has a great fact sheet available for landlords, usually from the Department of Fair Trading or Consumer Body. I suggest that all property investors get hold of these fact sheets when they buy a property in the state where they don't live, so that they can be sure of always doing the right thing.